What up, Earthlings? What's Gucci? How's it going, y'all? All right. Let's see here. Flick my switch on, because I got it like, oh, you know what? See. Thanks to my shore power, I could hook this up. Here. This is all hooked up. Outside the van, through the bumper. Power. So let me just snake this guy. Actually, oh, shiza. All right, well, hold on. Yeah, she's doing it. I was debating whether to put it into the Jackery, but I'm just going to use the Jackery for a little experiment tonight. Gonna run shore power here. Because we are at home. We can do that. Holy shit. Too right. Makes all the other lights go down. Alright. Alright, Earthlings. Now that I've gotten my little setup kind of going, I can talk to you all. Well, what are we going to do tonight? Well, first of all, I'd like to say Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. And I know 2020 was fucked up, but we're still here. So we just got to make the best of it um, and keep on pushing for what's right. Whatever you believe in, keep pushing. All right, so, freaking. So, we've had a lot of additions to the van since, like, the last time I had you guys here. And uh, the last episode, we received a present from Santa. Jackery, baby. Old Jack, my new, my new buddy right here. Jack. Now, whenever Jack's in the van, you know we're going to party. Okay, so. We got Jack in the house today. Not in the box. Jack in the house, okay? Jack in the van. What? All right. So, what we're going to do is we got some other nudists. And um, we're just going to be playing with my goodies tonight. Not like that. Not those goodies. <laughs> the f some other fun stuff, though. So. Uh, see, I've been, I've just been playing PlayStation in my van, I've been doing, watching movies on my computer, you know, um, I think I mentioned something last time about hooking up the lights, it's like for the, uh, when I got my jacket, I said, oh, this is gonna power the lights, here is it, here it is, right here, boom, so these, here, let me just show you. This cord, I obviously wired it up myself. These blue tapes are just holding it all together. But right there is where they come out. Following that blue tape, they pop the wires pop out of the ceiling. And come right back to here. So eventually this stuff's all gonna be hidden inside the cabinetry, but you plug it in power to your DC 12 volt power sources you can see the voltage we're at a hundred percent one watt to catch that little red light probably but so now let's just see here all right let's turn off the ring light all right turn off our battery lights Um, I guess I'm turning this one off too. Now you're going to see the lights on the dimmer switch. Bam. So there you go. And these lights are super bright. Here, let me turn this on. 
These lights are super bright. Um, and I'm only pulling three watts. So basically, I could run these lights for days, every night. If I was just running these lights, I could run them for probably weeks with just uh, off the jackery. So these lights are badass. I got them hooked up to the dimmer switch, which controls the like the wattage, you know, the voltage or whatever. So when I'm dim it, when I dim them down, it's pulling less power. When I throw them up, it's like max. It's like at 11. You don't even need that. It's like plenty of light. But let's say I don't have jackery power. I'm just kind of riding around, around town, and it's nighttime, and I just want to chill in the van, and, you know, do my thing, whatever. Let's say I don't have jackery power. Don't have jackery power. I always got this bad boy hooked up to the battery lights. So, you know, I like to use the battery lights. I just go back and forth, like... Sometimes I, I don't, you know, the Jackery is more for, like, bigger events, kind of, like, I try not to use it for daily use because I don't really need it. I just use the batteries. Um. All right, which brings me to my next thing, what we're really here for. This. The Ape Man Mini Projector. Badass right here. Okay. And tonight, we're taking the Ape Man to Nintendo Town. So, got some stuff so that I can play my Nintendo on the Ape Man. So, let's see how it works. Come along, let's do some van stuff. Let's see here. Oh. Now this is what came in today and is inspiring the video. But it is a HDMI to RCA. So we about to have some fun in the van. Oh yeah. It's going down tonight. And Power sources and a switch for 720 to 1080. We'll see. Pro tip save these little things. If you have a place where you put electrical things, put this in because you can kind of harness up wires and make them all neat with these things. Another one. Okay. And <clears throat> I'll be doing a van tour of the van. Some of the additions. But let's do another van tour of where it's at now. This way we kind of, because this is like, I'm going to live like this for a while with it. I like the setup and I think that I just kind of need to work on some other things for a little bit and just enjoy the van how it is right now because I am enjoying it. I'm loving it. Alright.
my game. Ugh. Gotta go get the games. I'll be back. I just dropped all my games. Alright, let's set up this curtain. Which I do have a large, rather large stack of Nintendo games. I might say I'm a collector. I guess this is like the moment of truth right here. Alright. Question is What game are we gonna play first? Killer Instinct? Uh, this game doesn't work unfortunately. Some of them don't work, so yeah. They're just they're just there for looks, some of them. But this game definitely works. Get him out of the way. Low key, one of the greatest games. I love this game. You just veg out on this game. It's just like hypnotizing. Also low key. Fun ass game right here. Mateo loves when I play this. He like it's like he's watching the show or something or movie and starts acting it out. It's kind of funny. But it's cool, it's like a win-win. Dad gets to play games and the son, son loves it. Ah, these things are too hard to hold. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Yes, I did get a ring light for Christmas. Not from Santa, from my girlfriend Clark. Thank you, baby, I love you. I'm going with this one. Super Mario World. Check this out, guys. Shag rug, baby. Oh, yeah. Right. We now bring you back to your regularly scheduled programming. Are you guys ready? It's a moment of truth. Taking you with me for the first time. In five, four, three, two.
Gotta do that sometimes. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Yes. Woo. Yes. Oh, so awesome. Take this. This. Ready. All right, it's on, folks. It is on. So stoked right now. You know what? Turn this light off. Alright, it's been a while, folks. Give me a break, okay? Dang. Ah! That's what it's like when you die. It's like, huh! Like, shit! Ah, oh, fuck! Alright. My old buddy JR is the best person I've ever seen play Super Mario Brothers. Like, just running through that shit. He can, like, beat the game in, like, 20 minutes. Or something. Ah! song da 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 we came up with our own version of it back in the day ah JR fucking did it JR fucking did it and uh yeah because JR could just like he can do shit that nobody could do which is crazy on this thing so what up shout out to my boy JR king of Super Mario World So stoked right now. 
Highly recommend checking out the Jackery if you're looking for a portable power station. And I highly recommend looking into the 8-man mini projector if you're looking for a portable mini projector. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, stay tuned for a complete van tour of what I'm doing with the van right now and the setup I'm rolling with now. So Until next time, let's not forget, we are all Earthlings. Peace.